hello, welcome to Football United TV. I am back, I'm here at the reconstruction of Real Sociedad Stadium. Uh, I'm in San Sebastian, as you can see. I didn't realize, but it's being renovated for the next season in La Liga. Real Sociedad, um, obviously another Basque team, probably the second biggest Basque team other than Athletic Bilbao. Um, they've had some brilliant players in the past. Griezmann was there for a little bit. David Moyes was the manager at some point. Um, and he didn't do very well. And I'm pretty sure I know why he uh, wanted to be uh, why he wanted to be manager because it's in San Sebastian. It's a pretty beautiful place. Why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? The Scottish manager uh, just vacated. It's like, yeah, I'll go to San Sebastian. Top dollar. So I can't really show you much of that. So I'm very sorry. So um, I'm going to just leave now. Um, but we can talk about transfers. There's lots going on again with Man United and Harry Maguire, Leicester City. He's told Leicester he wants to go, but you know how man you are. Man United just won't pay the money at all for the players. They're trying to push on add-ons for it and everything. It's just a little bit tight. You look at what Real Madrid have done in the last month or so and they literally bought a whole new team. They didn't mess about and they put the money down. In fact, they picked up the players pretty much before the press could even find out that they were going to get them. You know, it was like super quick and done. Probably during the end of the season, it was probably, they were probably talking to the players that they wanted and they nearly had the deals agreed. So I'm not really sure what's happening with Man United. I can't really put my finger on why they're not getting their reinforcements. Clearly for a fair few years now, Man United have needed a centre-back and a right midfielder. And yet we're still not doing it. And it doesn't make sense to me. Another thing about Man United, of course, Paul Pogba. There's all the speculation that he might be going to Real Madrid. I don't think he's going to though. I don't think Man United will sell him just yet. And I'm pretty sure Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's probably sat down Paul and said look you're still under contract we'd like you at least to stay for another year or two and then of course we'll be happy to let you go to Real Madrid you know because that's where he wants to go at some point in his career he's still got plenty of time I mean imagine in the next year or two he wins the Premier League with Man United he, he will become something more than what he is already at Man United. People just think he's a bit of a flop, even though we clearly know he's a great player. I personally don't think he's a flop. I think the team around him are just not good enough to play with. Just not good enough. I mean, you put Messi in Man United and Man United would still be losing. And you know, Messi, Messi's great. Yeah, we definitely would benefit from him. Of course, any team would, but you do need the squad around you to help you bring out the best in your abilities as a football player. And I don't see Pogba having that. I've not really met Man United properly, you know. He had it at Juventus. He had a great team working around him and look how well they did. <clears throat> they won Serie A a lot of times. They made Champions League final. He had a good record for goals and assists at Juventus. So, you know. I guess I just wanted to talk about Man United today because every time I look up transfers and all that, it always seems to be headline news. And yeah, what can you say really? Uh, football's going to be a strange one next season. Not just in Premier League, everywhere. I mean, what's going on with PSG, Neymar? He wants to leave. Who is going to buy him though? I hope Man United don't buy him because I don't want that sort of player. I don't want a player that's just throws his toys out of the out of the cot you know what I mean and <clears throat> just moans about stuff when you're on so much money and you're looked up to by so many people yet you can just act like a pure penis sorry he just he does like I say he's in the media for the all the wrong things and he needs to sort that out because you know to be fair like you know he's 
get into his prime now, he should, he should be picking up Ballon d'Or like nearly every year if he was like the world's best, you know what I mean? If he was up there with Messi and Ronaldo and they're like in their early 30s now, them to, uh, Ronaldo and Messi, so, and they're still conquering that. So yeah, it's gonna be a strange one next season. Uh, I'm gonna probably put a bet on Man United winning the league and it's not gonna happen, but I think it'll be a good bet. I think it might make a bit of money back, possibly, seeing as I'm pretty sure the odds are low for Man United to win it. But who knows? I'm just hoping that Liverpool don't win it because <laughs> I just don't want them to win the Premier League because I know they really want that one more than anything. And if Liverpool get... What are they on now? Oh yes, 18. They've got 18 league titles, haven't they, in their history. So they're two behind Man United. And you know the old story of <clears throat> Liverpool fans sort of saying, giving, you know, gloating to Man United in the 80s, sort of saying like, you know, come, come back and talk to us when you've won 18 league titles. And yeah, the 90s was dominated by Man United, of course, and the, and the, and the noughties. So, um, <clears throat> pretty much turned that around didn't they 20 20 league titles now so yeah that's the reason why I don't want uh, Liverpool to win but it's a it's a pure love thing the two, the two best teams in England like on a scale of what they've won by far you know Champions Leagues three for Man United six now for Liverpool after what happened in Madrid this summer um, yeah so I just want a first and second race to the Premier League between Man United and Liverpool, that would be bless. So hopefully Man United can push that up. I believe in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I believe the passion. I don't believe the board though. They're very clever and they run it the business superbly, but if they really want to keep um, that money coming in, they do need to invest into the team. So yeah, it's gonna be a good, good Premier League next year I think it will be much better than last year even though last last season was amazing the Champions League uh, was probably the best I've seen for a very very long time and I'm not just talking about a couple of games was, but it, the Man U game with the VAR against PSG that was an amazing amazing evening the Liverpool game versus Barcelona and the Tottenham game versus Ajax was just incredible and the Ajax knocking out Juventus and Real Madrid you know it's just such an amazing competition last season so I hope it can sort of keep with it next next season obviously Man United are not in it but yes Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea they are all in it and congratulations to Frank Lampard because he is obviously the new Chelsea manager and he gets to be in the Champions League as well and he gets to use his youth and if he keeps them at least in top four without buying any players then he's done a smashing job better than what you would have predicted really so yeah I'm gonna go back into town now we'll be heading off to Madrid and hopefully showing you around a few of the stadiums there thank you for tuning in and have a pleasant pleasant Sunday bye bye